Hey guys, it's Melissa again. I'm trying to get on a roll. Um, like those sweet others of you that others of you, I can't even talk. The others who are joining this show your layout um, challenge. Um, I appreciate all of you taking the time to do these videos and I'm just loving it. So keep up the good work. But um, this is a layout I wanted to share. This one is in the sleeve. I'm going to see how it works. If it's too glary, I may never even post this video. But if not, it might be easier if I can keep it in the sleeve. Some of them have to come out because for whatever reason, the different colors showing up, picking up more glare. But this doesn't seem too, too bad. So um, I'm going to zoom in here um, and show you. These are cut from i'm going to try to remember these cartridges i may not remember at all because like i said some of these are done recent and some not so recent but these are all pretty much from this past year so they're not too old um but this one is cut using um that thick glitter paper from like ac Moore that's like sold in them individual sheets and they're usually like a dollar 99 or 99 99 cents on sale but they're like heavy duty almost like chipboardy um this one was cut out from alphalicious I think is the cartridge um, and I really like that font um, it's just a fun little font there but as you see they kind of look like if it'll show they kind of look like thickers and you can cut them out yourself but there's a certain way to do it you don't have to have the deep cut blade I have the deep cut blade but I I have I don't have good luck cutting chipboard I haven't given it a lot of patience either but I didn't if I had to do all that I didn't feel like doing it I just use the regular blade with this and you just have to do um, the pressure on high the speed, I turn it down a little bit so it's not working too hard. Like, I might turn it to, like, medium. But the key to this is the multi-cut. So I'll do a, either a multi-cut of two or three and just turn the speed down a little and just let it take its time and cut it. And it'll come out beautifully. And I just really like these letters, especially with the glitter paper. So that is another tip that can really make your layouts pop. Even if you don't, you know, it, and it doesn't use up that much um, of your paper and you can reuse it again, the, the rest of it, um, just to do your titles. And then it kind of jazzes up the rest. So this I use polka dot um, paper back here. And I, it's just it's just wrinkly because I have it, um, I don't have something thick behind it. Um, but this says grandma's house and it says you're the best, which also I think is from Alphalicious and lucky. And this is, this is my mom here. She'd kill me if I'm showing her in her apron. Um, she always says, I look so bad in that picture, but I don't think she does. But this is my daughter and this is them in the kitchen. And this is my, <laughs> you've probably seen him in the, um, the fall um mini album my paper bag mini album i did that is my little sister's boyfriend matt um he's nuts and you see he's playing the part back there so he saw that i had the camera and he's acting like a chef back there i don't know if you can see him but anyway maya loves to help she loves to get her hands in it she has to be you know in the middle of it all so she's in here helping do dishes so of course she has to get find dig up an apron so i have aprons on i just thought it was cute so here i am sneaking pictures so here they are again here and I just want to show do this layout because she has so much fun with her grandmothers and she loves going to their houses and these to me are and look that's my our um our dog he um Georgia her I'm calling her he that is our dog Georgia um we just had to put her to sleep this past year um she she I think I had her when I was since I was eight so she kind of grew up with us all and she was such such a sweet dog but see this is what I mean in these pictures you'll be glad that you had this and say oh remember Georgia or you know your dog or whatever the case may be it's just good to have these memories and um I like doing scrapbooking for that reason so anyway um this is my mom here and this is Maya and they're what she's washing dishes she loves to help so she's in there doing that so these are cute little memories I wanted to um kind of capture this I used a heart ribbon just um, just to kind of hide the um, the seam of the two papers matched together and I love these two colors together like this mint, minty blue green and then the pink and then behind the matted photos I have a five by seven cuddle bug folder I embossed that to kind of give that some dimension so it didn't look so flat down here so I matted them with um, a paper that I run through the cuddle bug just have a little precious sticker on here with 3d um, foam dots behind it whoa knocking it over um these are just little jewels i added on there so it just says grandma's house i just kind of want to capture some of the fun little time she has there and this is another photo i snuck in um there's her helping them and my mom's so good with her oh look my phone's acting my camera's acting crazy let me zoom out and see if i can get just hold it 
Um, so I just staggered some paper here, added the ribbon in here to tie it in. It's very important to try to tie in both things. Um, and it'll, it'll kind of make you feel better about the both pages if they, you know, don't quite match exactly. And they shouldn't. Um, so here's those two there. I thought that was cute from behind there. So I cut out these, the same thing on the multi-cut. And this is that thick litter paper. And in real life, it looks better on here because um, it's so thick. And this, I'm so proud of because this was not done using a cuddle bug. It was good old Melissa cutting it out. Um, I even cut out this little fence myself and popped out at each one behind it and then did two of my thinner ribbons to make the fence. So I cut all these out by hand. So as you see, they're not perfect little pickets, but that's okay. Um, so I cut all these out, just little paper that I had because this paper is kind of let's say, let's just be honest, cheapy. And I don't know where it was from or what kind of paper pack I got, but it was really thin and I know my Cricut would eat it up. So it would not even come out right. So I hand cut it all and I had fun doing it. I know I have a problem, but I cut out all these little pickets and then each one has a pop dot behind it. So this fence is actually raised, raised out from the tree. And then see how I just put the little thin ribbon I had. I think this was like a quarter, 25 cent ribbon that, you know, they usually have four for a dollar or whatever. So that's just the thinnest one, the thinnest ribbon. So I made that little fence, had this polka dot background to tie in with this side. Um, I cut out this tree even myself with my scissors, like I was a kindergartner, and I ran this through the cuddle bug with the swirls. Um, so I kept all, see that this is the paper pack, but it's all too thin to cut through a cuddle bug, really. Um, so then I cut the tree trunk and I embossed that with the Swiss dots, and then this one was with the swirls. I cut out this little heart by hand, all with the polka dot coordinated paper. And then this little house, <laughs> this little house I cut out myself. Um, if you can't tell, but, um, I made these little windows and this behind here is yellow glitter paper to make it look like the lights on in the house. I made this little door and did like the white, um, I think it's fabric paint around here and used little pearl for the doorknob and there's little windows. Then I used my scallop punch and this with sparkle white glitter paper for, I don't know, shingles, who knows what I'm doing. And then here's the little roof, cut out a heart here and then did a little chimney with the heart coming up. So that was done with my own hands not with the cricket because i had to because i would eat it up but so those it just goes to show those of you who do not have a cricket you don't have to have one um although they're they're very very nice and i love them but if you know if they're not in the budget although some of them are getting cheaper now especially the older models but if they're not in your budget you can do it yourself it just takes a little time and you'll have fun doing it. it's like therapy so just wanted to share this layout of grandma's house so take those pictures because you'll want those memories later so thanks for watching guys. I'll be posting more soon. Bye.